Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I've created some great actions for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements that enhance the color inside of your images to create great stylized effects. Here we are inside of the full version of Photoshop and I have the Actions panel open via the Window menu. If I want to load my actions, all I need to do is come to the Flyout menu here and choose Load Actions and then I'll be able to access the actions that I've purchased from markgaylor.com. OK, let's take a look at some of the actions that we can play on these particular images. OK, we've got lots of actions in the single download file and I'm going to come across to a colour cross process. OK, this emulates quite a characteristic uh, look inside of colour film. And so I'm just going to click on the colour cross process action and then click on the play action button. And within next to no time, here I have the beautiful colours that have been applied via this action. Now if I come to my layers panel, I can see all of the component uh, layers that we use to create this image. And I can modify these if I want to um, further work on this particular look that I'm creating. Uh, one of the features of my actions is that I can come to the history panel and then just click on the snapshot to go back to the start point of this particular image. OK, let's take a look at another uh, image that we can apply an action to. And uh, again, I'll come to the actions uh, uh, folder and I'll, I'll try and choose an alternative action now. This time I'm going to come to a split tone action uh, with a small hint of the original colour of the uh, original file here. And again I'll click on the play action button. And again, very quickly, we've created this very uh, 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 stylized image that um, looks at uh, creating some cool shadows and some warm highlights with a hint of the original colour. And as I said before, here we have all of the original layers that we used to create uh, this look or stylized treatment. OK, again, let's come back to the, um, the Actions panel. And again, we'll try and come to uh, a third image now to show you uh, a variety of different techniques that can be created with these uh, uh, color actions I've created. OK, I'm going to come down to a uh, color cross process 2 now and then uh, play this particular action. And there we get uh, quite saturated colors with this particular action. And I can come over to my Layers panel. And again, if I want to uh, perhaps desaturate to this, then I could lower the opacity of these particular files or just uh, add another adjustment layer. Here I'll come down to a Hue Saturation adjustment. And now I'll just pick up yellows and just perhaps pull those yellows back a little bit just to uh, control uh, the saturation of that target color there. OK, uh, well, let's come to a final action now. OK, now what have, is included with the single download is we have a, a sort of a compendium of different uh, styles uh, placed on layers uh, within the same file. OK, uh, just to give you an example here, I can click on the Sample All Color uh, preset here and then click the uh, Play button. Now this will take a while longer because we've got uh, creating a variety of uh, uh, different um, uh, looks in this particular image. OK, let's just collapse that uh, Adjustments panel there and uh, take a look at uh, what we've created. OK, we've got this uh, Color Drift 1. Uh, color Drift 2, Color Drift 3. Here we're getting some really beautiful colors. Now remember, if I just click on the, uh, um, the background layer holding down the Alt or Option key, we can see it before. There's hardly any sort of um, um, colors other than these warm tones inside of this image. So it's quite amazing how these uh, color actions are pulling out and enhancing uh, very subtle colors and then spiking them into these uh, rich cyans or blues, uh, but still whilst retaining these warm colors here. OK, and then we've got the Cross Process 1, which we looked at at an earlier image, and uh, Cross Process 2, which is a very warm example. Here I'll just uh, select all of these particular layers and then hit the Delete key. Uh, because I can come back to the Actions panel now, and instead of choosing Sample or Color, I'll choose the Sample or Tone, and then hit the Play button as well. OK, and again, we've got one of a variety of different looks to this image. And again, we can click on the visibility icon to have a look at the split tone one, 
uh, a warmer split tone 2 but with very cool shadows there and uh, split tone 2 with color so one with color and that's just holding on to a small amount of the original color uh, split tone 2 color uh, getting those uh, shadows going a little bit cooler now and uh, split tone 3 with color and then we've got some of the classics we've got sepia and also bronze and right at the bottom as always we've got the the background layer which uh, shows that uh, these are completely non-destructive actions uh, there's no risk of damaging damaging your original artwork when working with Mark Gaylor actions okay hope you have fun with these actions remember they also work in Photoshop elements uh, version 7 and later